السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to Muslim Farmville Thanks for stopping by I cannot believe the month of Ramadan is almost done Today is the 27th day of Ramadan I recorded this video a few days before Ramadan and I kept telling myself I need to do the voice over So I want to take you along into our prayer room. I'd like to invite you there. Come along and clean and organize with me. This room is very special for our family. This is where we gather and we do our daily prayers together. The family prays together, it stays together. Maybe a month ago, the children had a little surprise party for me since I have been here in the States for 34 years. And they decorated here, so I am doing my best to uh, kind of clean, organize, and uh, just have this room a little bit welcoming for the month of Ramadan, even though it's almost done. One of our boys found this table and he said somebody was throwing it. And when we brought it in and cleaned it out, uh, it has been actually uh, helpful. We had it about a few years. Sometimes people will throw things and uh, we can reuse them, right? So I want to put to use. This table also is where I keep my orchids. Once a week, I just feed it ice. And that's really it. Sabrina and her family has given to me so many orchids. And she always says, Mama, how do you keep these orchids so beautiful? I said, when you gave it to me, I read it. The note that came with it, and it says, feed it once a week, a piece of ice. And you all, that's all I do with those orchids. And they do have seasons that they thrive, and then I just keep feeding those eyes, and that's really it. So this, our prayer room, is very special to us. SubhanAllah, this is where our family gathers, and we don't only just pray in here. This is where we retreat, reflect, and remembrance. And usually my children know when I am in this room and I sit in my corner, I have my own corner, they know that's mommy's time subhanallah so this table i usually keep it little cloths especially when i run out of napkins they are little reusable washcloth napkins and uh, i was able to buy them from a second hand store they're all clean washed i like to keep it there and take all the dirty towels out and uh, just change a few things around here. Once in a while, it's really needed. So here I go and feed eyes. I'm teaching my little kitty down. It reminds me of continuously as a mama you keep repeating the children and guiding them and teaching them. So I'm continuously teaching them, get down. You don't need to climb on the table. So here I go, feed my little orchids. Once a week, that's it. That's all I do. And if I travel, I make sure someone helps us out so they can at least put the eyes on it and they keep thriving mashallah tabarakallah 
It has been a beautiful, blessed month of Ramadan. How is your Ramadan going? How are you doing? The end of Ramadan, we usually feel so tired, so fatigued. But Allah always gives us the strength and what we can handle. Allah never gives us what we can't handle, right? Alhamdulillah. This day, my family was gone, and I just took my time to go ahead and clean. And when I have quiet, special times like this, I do my best to do my dickers, my supplications, my dickers, asking for forgiveness, my shortcomings, and also show gratitude. Being thankful for what I have, my family, my friends. I have a lot of people who are extremely dear to me and some of them are more special than others. And I am so grateful for that, for each one of them. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take all the dead leaves. Taking a few minutes goes long ways. This is where we also take time and have date nights. And when I say date nights, date days, it's, it means to me where I can take some time alone to worship my Creator and show gratitude and ask for forgiveness. Because having a date night in Ramadan, it means to me taking the time to just sit, retreat, right, and reflect and remembrance. So this is where I come when I need to do that. I don't have to go out. I do love going out with my husband and my special friends and family. But when it comes to Ramadan time, especially the night of odd nights, 21st, 23rd, 25th, 20th, seven like this night and the 29th it's a special night so i call it date night with my creator to make a special night we do go to our mosque where we pray but just even 10 minutes half an hour an hour to have a date night with my creator is really special and to have those date nights and date days with my creator I like to have a clean area, even if it's small corner, it's special to have it clean. Islam talks about cleanliness all the time. A lot of you ask me, how do you keep your house so clean? When you have so many animals and so many plants, honestly, it's a lot to uh, keep up with. But it's so rewarding when I'm cleaning. It's so refreshing and so rewarding. Also in Islam, when you're cleaning and cooking, us moms, we get so much reward. So that brings me joy. And I love cleaning and cooking. But it's always something to do. As you can see right here, this plant, I don't know how I put washcloth there and I forgot. And I was quite surprised when I saw that washcloth underneath. But it's okay. Sometimes we will fall short. Sometimes we will let things go and not clean it. But today is the day. So a day like this brings me joy. This is where the month of Ramadan, we will go ahead and pray as a family break our fast together that's what we have been doing and it has been a beautiful blessed ramadan especially this time of the year ramadan comes and we basically eat after seven o'clock it is so rewarding so wonderful because in the past there are times that we would be fasting eight o'clock nine o'clock nine thirty sometimes almost 10 p.m so this time of the year it has been blessing 
So now I'm just going to go ahead and wipe the windows. I have a little Ramadan decorations. Just organize those things and just hang little things like this. Makes the whole house just noticeable and so welcoming, especially where we pray. And if you don't have a space that you can have a special room for a prayer, it's okay if you can have even a little corner. You have your prayer rug, your Quran. It's just then the family knows that's when mom will be retreat, reflect, and remembrance, right? It's a special area that mom or dad's that we will have and the children will know, oh, mom is talking to her creator and the children grow into that and learn that. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, come to this closet. I have this small little closet where I keep all our pillowcases, our bed sheets, towels. I have extra dishes that I freeze with meals. And that basket up top, you can see, I always keep it with lots of cards when I get from family and friends, special cards. I always keep it in that basket. And this zip -lag that I'm holding right now, I have a lot of napkins, cloth napkins. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I just put on my uh, little prayer room staples some green? Because right now it's spring. It's here in Wisconsin, it has been rainy, it's snowing. And I thought, you know what? Just a little green will do as well. So that's what I'm just going to go ahead and use. And instead of going to the store, don't get me wrong, I like to buy new things sometimes. But most of the time, I do shop secondhand stores. That's one of my favorite places to shop because you can find so many good, unique things and you can reuse it and see and a good way to also save money for your family. Shortly after my surgery, one of my amazing, amazing friend, God bless her, invited me, took me to breakfast. And we went secondhand stores and we looked around few places. That was honestly a treat for me. So I want to say thank you for getting me out because it's been like a couple of months that I was stuck at home. So it was so nice to go to a secondhand store. That's where I love shopping. So here are my green and white napkins which I uh, can wash them and reuse them. Something small like this will make the whole room shine, right? So cheap to decorate and to do little changes here. And this is putting it on right now. I'm just going to go ahead and set my uh, plants back, orchids. And I have those white and green little cloths. And it's going to be beautiful. We have a sunny day, but still cold. This beautiful plant, my sister-in-law, when she came to see me while I was in the hospital, she brought that for me and it has been thriving. It's beautiful. So I am basically organizing what I have beautiful i love these beautiful different colors and just putting them by the window that's really it a little bit of eyes and the window the sun that's it excellent now i need to go ahead and tackle this is my area where i retreat reflect and i do my remembrance this is my little table. Sabrina has set it this area for me quite some time ago. This is where I read my Quran every morning. Sabrina didn't um, want this table. She had another table and she said, Mama, do you want to use this? I thought, how awesome. Yes, please. 
it's shorter table and it works so well for me when I sit it's perfect and I can just go ahead remove this towel I have few white towels that I use for my tables I just wash them put them away for a few weeks use something else and everything looks like it's brand new right Ramadan time is when the Quran was revealed subhanallah and we have been reading Quran we have been listening a lot of lectures fasting sharing food with friends the community it has been a beautiful blessed Ramadan alhamdulillah so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few more washcloths here these little napkins reusable again and I put my salt lamps here and then I just go ahead and set my Quran and that's really it everything looks new to me even though it's used napkins they caught you can find them like I don't know a dozen or eight or ten pieces for a couple of dollars and looks beautiful to me I put my ally sign there, my salt lamps, my prayer beads, and that's really it. So simple, so beautiful. This is my little corner where I read my Quran and I do my dicker here. I have been doing lots of dickers, especially the month of Ramadan. It's so nice. And Sabrina gave me these cushions and it has been working out quite some time now. I have them about, I don't know, a couple of years, maybe three years, those cushions. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a break. I am not the superwoman because I just need to sit down, unwind, give a little love to the kitty and just breathe. Because somehow I am not that kind of person who goes on and on and on. Taking a few minutes break to myself, then I feel so much better. So let's go back, fix my little cushions. And a lot of our small rugs, the ones that are hanging, the ones on the floor, whenever we travel, we pick it up. So now it's time to go ahead and put my table on the side. I have a lot of vacuuming to do, but we can get it done. It took some time, this room, but it worked out. Alhamdulillah. Sometimes there are a few things that I really don't like doing, like vacuuming. and But I have to do it, and then everything changes. It looks clean afterwards, so refreshing so rewarding and then it lasts for a while even though this time of the year we will be going in and out you all so this whole room is going to be messy but it's okay we can always clean as we go especially this is where we will be praying all the time we have to make sure we keep it clean Here I go. Let's put this table. And I do have a washcloth in, not washcloth, tablecloth in mind. Let's put this. It's going to be really nice. Usually I use this tablecloth outside, especially when summer comes. But now we will use it. It's going to be pretty. It has a little bit of green, yellow, little flowers. So it will change the room a little bit. Perfect. Something so simple and so small makes such a change. In maybe a few months, we probably will take some of these plants outside. We usually keep them in the summer outside so they can get nice sunny and rains. And the winter time we bring them in i have a stash of dishes here 
where I plan in inshallah when I will be serving my food to keep them warm because when it's Ramadan and we don't eat all day it's kind of nice the last hour we prepare our food and we want to keep it warm so these dishes I can put a little bit of candles underneath and it will keep our soups and our meals nice and warm so I'm not running into the kitchen all the time just to plan a little bit ahead and to make my life so much easier inshallah so i have this little stash and i uh, use it for my uh, ramadan time to uh, use these special dishes i had them oh my goodness i don't know maybe over 10 years and then my mom liked them and she uh took them and has been using them for quite some time and then a few years ago when she was moving out to go back home she goes back and forth in Africa back to America go to Europe she goes uh, Umrah Saudi England to visit family and she's been to Thailand and she's like Yasmin I am returning your dishes. Do you want them back? I said, sure, I will have them. Because anytime my mother invited us, she would have these beautiful dishes set. So she gave it back to me. And this is where I keep them. Because since I don't use them all the time, I keep them right here and just bring them out for a special time like Ramadan time date nights with our creator to have those date nights with our creator it means less cooking and keeping the food ready for the family at the same time and to be able to uh, connect with our creator and worship and show gratitude so this is what i did i will go ahead and set them right here and i have been using them as i go but one of the dishes I realized I couldn't find the cover. So I will continue going to secondhand stores. A lot of times I do see these kind of dishes. They are ceramic and has a glass cover. So I'm like sending you kisses saying, yes, perfect. Everything is coming together. And then I think last year I found these sheets i love the color of blue and it's my husband and myself's favorite colors are blue so i was able to find it maybe 45 minutes away from us there was a secondhand store and my husband and i were driving and he said you want to check this place out sure so we found these tablecloths so affordable and so beautiful so now I'm just going to go ahead. They are clean and washed. Fold them and set them aside because us Muslims, when we eat, we like to sit on the floor, have these eating sheets. We call it eating sheets, spread them on the floor and we sit down and we eat our food. And then later we just take the sheet, shake it off, wash it. And it's ready for the next day. We do have a dining room table. But my family, we prefer sitting and doing, eating like we call it Muslim style. We, where we sit on the floor and eat. So you guys have seen me these prayer sheets before my mom went to a uh, back home and Umrah. She brought these prayer sheets. So now I want it to go ahead and have it ready. So when we pray, the girls and I, we have our special prayer sheets from my mom. May Allah reward her because she always gives us these special prayer sheets, especially when Ramadan is coming. So I pray that Allah rewards her for all her gifts. Amin, Ya Rabbi, because she always thinks about us and does do us for us. So this is the one corner that no matter what I do, I have to continuously keep cleaning. 
recently my husband put this hanger here and that has been helping so we can have some sweaters and few little jackets so when, when we want to uh, get out of this door it's easier to grab a jacket and boots otherwise we are we have the rest of them downstairs and right now i'm telling you i'm not excited <laughs> dealing with this corner because you all say, oh, your house is so clean, but this area never stays clean. So I'm just removing the rug and I'll take it outside later and shake it. As you can see, it is messy. And this is when I don't enjoy vacuuming, but everything I vacuumed it and I'm just cleaning the corners and the vacuum died so i have a different vacuum that one of the boys actually gifted to me so i'm just going to use that one clean everything since i am doing the cleaning today here in our prayer room why not go all out right i don't like it these kind of little corners to clean and the dust and all of that but it feels so good to get it done then I know when I am connecting with my creator and having date days, date nights, then that means I have a clean house. Islam, oh, it's so important for us to keep clean. And not only our houses, our hearts, our minds. It's not easy sometimes for us to forget and to forgive but I always remind myself, Yasmin, if you want God to forgive you, you have to learn to forgive others because we do come short, right? It's not easy, I know. It's not easy for me. May Allah give me the strength and the health and to learn to forgive, inshallah, and to love, Amin, and also to see the good not the flaws because it's so easy to see the negativity and all that so i pray that i become a better person for the sake of allah the creator and for me because it feels so good to uh, be loved and to love right instead of seeing the flaws so i pray dear god let me see the good let me see the good. Let me love, inshallah. Hmm. I'm like, okay. You need to get down, kitty. He's excited as I am, cleaning and having everything organized. I have this bag where I keep all my Ramadan and Eid decorations. So every year I bring it out. I don't want to spend the money with all kind of new ones right so i use what i have every year and then when the ramadan is done i just shake them off fold it and i just put them away and i use it as we go every year so it's been wonderful alhamdulillah so as the children decorated this room for me to surprise me to celebrate for my 34 year anniversary i decided to remove these decorations instead of climbing the chair i was getting nervous but i was able to use the vacuum cleaner and i brought them all down and this is hatch sign hatch season will come inshallah and the decorations i'm just going to go ahead and put them into the basket this bag and keep it in there for other times we can use we don't have to throw them so this is my Eid Mubarak one I have few Ramadan Mubarak as well so I'm just gonna work on these spread them and see and since I am a bit shorter person I might look tall in the camera but I am quite short I'm just gonna wait my husband and the boys when they come so they can help me with Ramadan Mubarak decoration. And that's going to be really enough for our family. We don't go all out, but we do little decorations to acknowledge it's Ramadan. It's the month of fasting. 
And when Eid comes, I probably will switch the Ramadan to Eid. And that's it. It's as simple as it can get here in our little farm. We like to acknowledge and still keep it simple and sweet. So everything came together and my husband was able to put them up for me. And it looks nice. The end of the evening, it looks beautiful and simple, mashallah. It's even more beautiful in the evening, especially when it gets dark and we do our prayers and supplications. It becomes more even gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed this video where when we do our date nights and date days in Ramadan and non-Ramadan time too. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give the videos thumbs up and I hope you are having a beautiful Ramadan and I will see you next video. We will be getting ready for Eid soon and I will be sharing Eat cookies, inshallah. Amin, ya Rabbi. Take good care of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Masha Allah, Masha Allah, Masha Allah, So simple.